a business that doesn't grow dies says mr shah the owner of shah marble with glorious 36 months of its grand success having a capital base of rupees 80 crores within a short span of time the company could generate cash flow which not only covered fixed cost fixed cash payment obligations but also create sufficient buffer the company is on the growth path and a new breed of consumers is eager to buy the italian marble show sold by shaw marble limited to meet the increasing demand mr shaw decided to expand his business by acquiring a mine this required an investment of rupees 120 crores to seek advice in this matter he called his financial advisor mr seth who advised him about the judicious mix of equity and debt 40% and 60% mr seth also suggested him to take a loan from financial institution as the cost of raising funds from financial institutions is low though this will increase a financial risk but will also raise the return to the equity shareholders he also appraised him that that issue of debt will not dilute the control of equity shareholders at the same time the interest on loan is a tax deductible expense for computation of tax liability after due deliberation with mr seth mr shaw decided to raise funds from a financial institution all are taken almost all questions i have picked up only from either sample paper of the board or board question itself so we cannot undermine these questions fine so identify is it a capital structure ma'am yes sir is it a capital structure ma'am is it a capital it. structure or financial financial decision decision financing financing financial decision ah that only ma'am financing decision no decision yes ma'am yes, 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 because it is a business yes sir no ma'am if it comes to concept ah uh, uh, i was informed students that the only two concepts are there in this chapter uh, not one able to hear you your voice is very low sir no, one minute ma'am when it What comes I... to con- am i audible now ma'am yes sir yes sir yes sir Ma'am, when it comes to concept, there are two concepts. One is yes. financial uh, planning and ca- capital structure. Super, sir. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Super. So, is it okay, ma'am? So yes. So there is concept, a, the same year. What happened? Okay. The same year, two thousand and seventeen. Fine. The same year, la okay, The ma'am. same year. Very similar question was tested. Okay. Very similar okay. question was asked and. Okay. the most of the students got confused between financing decision and uh, capital structure that's true, that's but this is a question on capital yeah. structure you are very right okay yes ma'am it is it is really uh, if it is so ma'am they would have yeah. asked as decision ma'am actually uh, uh, explain the decision of financial management okay no explain in that case, the concept it also? would have been an element also sir if it was also, financing ma'am. decision Ah, it would have been an element also no, element of minute, financial one management minute, one minute yeah mm. and here in this question the highlighted thing is uh, uh. ma'am uh, cash flow which not only covered fixed cost payment obligation uh. but also create sufficient better that line also makes us to think that is what i am telling you uh. i am i am telling you this is uh, uh, this one uh you come again with the question here ma'am uh, uh, cash flow uh, generate cash flow which not only covered fixed cash payment uh, obligation but uh, also create sufficient buffer this highlighted thing also makes us to think no ma'am that's what that's what uh, but only thing is what should be uh, taken care of is we have to in- insist on the students reading word uh, to word line to line from the textbook uh, i'm sorry uh, i guess yes, no to invite sir. invite uh, for a marriage function you please go hand go ahead no, sir please jan ma'am is jan ma'am thank you your power sorry sir <laughs> no problem sir after all holidays ma'am i am i right or no you are right sir you are right that's, i was just telling uh, samshad also okay, fine, thank you. that unless and until we make the student be right, thorough ma'am. with word to word yes, line to line it is not possible but at the same time yes. rote memory also will not work out they should be very that's very smart yes 
they should be very very sharp see the whole thing mm. the concepts are there when you see tax liability is there okay mm. dilution of control is there increase in return on investment okay that is also there fine so many uh, things so not only cover fixed cost payment etc all these factors are already there it is all a part of capital structure so we have to ins insist on the student that questions may be tested from any book but answers will be only from ncert yeah and every answer is covered in ncert okay fine so very good so this is the thing and and one more thing please insist on this one also most of the questions they say so that's why yesterday i told you, you know one of you told me that they are writing pages after pages don't no not you sorry pratibha told me this gbps teacher told me that they are writing pages after pages not needed at all business study mm -hmm. paper is not a history paper that they need to elaborate so much it is okay. only the key points which matter mm -hmm. that's all so and it will be most of the questions will be within the quoting the lines fine so that also we should make it clear to the students to read the question very clearly so cbse will not give mark just like that capital structure will carry one mark the four factors will be along with the case only along with quoting the lines so we that also we have to say that's what is here which have been discussed between mr shah and mr say fine can you go to the next question ma'am uh, adding points to your uh, uh, yes sir values ma'am yes sir uh, like um, in first in first chapter na uh, yes sir if any question asked related to concept ma'am no? the same yes. question explain the concept no telingla the same ah. kind if in first chapter if they ask ah. uh, from the whole chapter ah. uh, you could find only three concepts ma'am fine uh, one is efficiency another one is effectiveness the third one is coordination fine Uh, so uh, the you can insist students that uh, we can read the question carefully whether it is concept element ah. factors ah, yes 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 it's yes. easy for us to identify also yes but efficiency and effectiveness are also elements concept it seems elements, it's given elements. as con elements and concepts elements too. and concepts That's yes ma'am if uh, straight away if it is concept given na they can easily filter ma'am oh yes. the among these three things only it will come from mari mm. they can and uh, next year we should be very careful yes, between nature of management and nature of principles of management i mean characteristic features of management and characteristic features of principles of management characteristic features of management is about management is a goal oriented behavior it is multi dimensional continuous process pervasive continuous process etc <coughs> nature of my principles of management becomes like universal applicability i'm sorry universal validity then general guidelines and then contingent all these behavioral in nature all these things so they should be very careful to read the question very clearly so what i tell them is to develop acronyms like you know um, t square n3 that way so the first mnemonics, no? first mnemonics so that uh, it will be easy for them to remember the point yes ma'am okay can i go to the next question please, please, yes ma'am shalini after acquiring a degree in hotel management and business administration took over our family food processing company of manufacturing pickles jams and squashes the business had been established by her great grandmother and was doing reasonably well however the fixed operating costs of the business were high and cash flow position was weak she wanted to undertake modernization of the existing business to introduce the latest manufacturing processes and diversify into market chocolate market of chocolates and candies she was very enthusiastic and approached a finance consultant who told her that approximately rupees 50 lakh would be required for undertaking the modernization and expansion program he also informed her that the stock market was going through a bullish phase keeping the above cons consideration in mind name the source of finance shalini should not choose should for not financing choose. the modernization and expansion of the food processing business give one reason for your answer explain any other two factors apart from those stated in the above situation which shalini should keep in mind while taking a decision mm -hmm. debt ma'am debt yes shalini should yes. not choose debt why because choose. it says that fixed operating costs of the business were high and cash flow position was weak so if cash flow position is very weak 
then it is very difficult for them to meet out the fixed obligations as and when they fall due. So better not to go for uh, this one. And you are also given one more hint that stock market was showing a bullish trend. Bull so bullish trend means it is showing a upward trend. So the company can easily raise money by the issue of debentures. Sorry, issue of uh, shares. Yes. Fine. That's why. Fine. So other two you can go for risk that can be considered that should be considered while uh, this thing control. flexibility in the capital flexible. structure yes control whenever also they, yes mm. yes yes find the next one this next one is a board question itself radhika and vani are uh, young fashion designers left their job with a famous fashion designer chain to set up a company fashion in private limited they decided to run a boutique during the day and coaching classes for the entrance examination for of national institute of fashion designing in the evening for the coaching center, they hired the first floor of a nearby building. Their major expense was the money spent on photocopying of notes for their students. They thought of buying a photocopier knowing fully that their scale of operation was not sufficient to make full use of photocopier. In the basement of the building of Ashnay Private Limited, Praveen and Ramesh were carrying on a printing and stationery business in the name of New Prince Private Limited. Radhika approached Praveen with the proposal to buy photocopier jointly, which could be used by both of them without making separate investment. Praveen agreed to this. Identify the factor affecting fixed capital requirements of the of Fashionate Limited. You are given. Yes, sir. Sorry. Your voice is breaking, sir. No, I'm sorry. Uh, is it a lot of collaboration? No? Yes, yes, yes. It is, uh, uh, what is it, that uh, joint venture. Joint. And, uh, oh, uh, you, I forgot the term, sir, collaboration. What is it? Level of, level of, level of, collab level of collaboration. Level of collaboration. Yes. Level of collaboration. Level of collaboration. Yes. So they can go for a joint venture. So that to that extent it will come Their down. Level is yes. So this would have been a one mark question. Please remember, one mark question will see how big is it. How big? Only is one it? word we can write alone, ma'am. Yes, 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 yes. That only is level of collaboration. Yes, yes, that is enough. That is enough. No need Fine. to give explanation about that level of collaboration at all, ma'am. Huh? Ma the level of collaboration of what is meant by that we no need to give explanation no, no need no need no need what is the question given identify, identify the alone. factor that's all don't make mm -hmm. the students write more okay ma'am okay ma okay yes ma'am that's why so don't make them write more don't waste them they don't let them uh, waste their time on one more question the next question abhishek limited is manufacturing cotton clothes it has been consistently earning good profit for many years this year, too, it has been able to generate enough profits. There is availability of enough cash in the company and good prospects for growth in future. It is a well-managed organization and believes in quality, equal employment opportunities and good remuneration practices. It has many shareholders who prefer to receive regular income from their investments. It has taken a loan of 50 lakhs from ICICI Bank and is bound by... Certain, certain restrictions on the payment of dividend according to the terms of loan agreement. The above discussion about the company leads to various the factors which decide how much of the profit should be retained and how much has to be distributed by the company. Quoting the line from the C, this is what I told you, now, Sanchez, it's a five mark yes, question. Uh, okay, quoting the line from the above question, identify and explain such explain factors. Uh, so, in this question, you need to explain. And you first to one remarks, identify next to one to thing explain is, yes, the factors. Identify and explain. Explain. Yes, yes, yes. So that being the case, now you have to have number one stability of what profit. Is that is the first line. It has been consistently earning good profits for many years. So the factor is stability of earnings. Number two, there is availability of enough cash. So cash flow position. Then Fine. Number three, yes. Quality and equal. No, equal. number three is it can, there is no quality in dividend factor. You have, see, the main, there, there are many question. shareholders who so the shareholders preference. Then ICICI okay. is so lender restrictions. Mm -hmm. So, four factors you got now stability of profits, 
then availability of cash that is cash flow position then preference of the shareholders and lender restrictions four factors we can say with the with the lines that is being quoted fine shall i share these questions in the whatsapp group for your benefit yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes yes can i go to the next question yes ma'am i am very happy that each one of you is taking so much of interest in your student development seriously yes, i am so happy see i take the interest is different so many of you now in future so many of you will develop so many other teachers this way now when you interact with few more teachers of the city when you when there is a orientation program or anything you will be able to explain all these things to those teachers yes, isn't it definitely So the next one, Arun is a successful businessman in the paper industry. During his recent visit, his friends' place in Mysore, he was fascinated by the exclusive variety of incense sticks available there. His friend tells him that Mysore region is known as a pioneer in the activity of agarbatti manufacturing business because it has a natural reserve of forest products, especially sandalwood, to provide for the base material used in production. Moreover, the suppliers of other types of raw material needed for production follow a liberal credit policy, and the time required to manufacture incense sticks is relatively less. Considering the various factors, Arun decides to venture into this line of business by setting up a manufacturing unit in Bangalore. So, what is given here? Identify and explain the type of financial type decision of finan taken by Arun. What is the decision? first thing is investment decision because you have uh, all the thing okay they have to invest ah huge investment no new huge, project uh, so huge. he has go, gone for a thorough analysis he considering you are given that considering Very. various factors so that says that the uh, this one he has analyzed very many things so you know pretty well that investment decision involves careful analysis and evaluation of all alternative projects available and then take a decision because investment or this one investment decision is a very critical decision to be taken it is an irreversible decision so cannot be altered at all fine so that way so that should be very carefully done fine so identify the three factors mentioned in the care paragraph which are likely to affect work you see again this type of questions you can be very you can uh you can inform your students to be ready that cbsc is known for their googlies the sense they, they see now the question sorry the second question is not related to the first question first question yes ma'am second the first question is about financial financial decision financial decision is of three types namely financial decision is of three namely investment decision financing decision and dividend decision please dividend understand decision. the difference between financing decision and financial decision. decision so that is one thing okay the second thing so we have identified that it is an investment decision investment and we are going to explain that investment decision but the second option is totally irrelevant to the first option likely to affect the working, working capital, capital of working like capital requirements of the business is very very different very different so from this we can say that what are all uh, what are all the uh, thing this way so you say that the raw material much needed for the production of for this one okay first thing is one minute sorry ah exclusive he was fascinated by exclusive variety of incense sticks and he tells him that ah so it is known as a pioneer because manufacturing has got a natural reserve natural reserve of this one sandalwood which is a base material used for this one so that indicates that availability of raw material then the second one is liberal time sorry liberal credit policy, credit policy. yes liberal credit policy is another one that we should know the next is time required see there's the length of operating cycle okay then a uh, uh, length of operating cycle is also another one that we should know that it is less so three factors so unless and until the students are very thorough with the 
factors affecting working capital requirements it is not easy to answer this question mm -hmm. so you make them read the text book thoroughly you make so them the read the subheadings sir Sorry. what happens sir in between got no no uh, there is a uh, power cut in uh, uh, as i was using wifi ma'am okay, but okay. the tower is not uh, proper here ma'am it's uh, fine fine very anyway very I, okay i will share these no, questions in the whatsapp group also sir so that it will benefit everybody but don't Thanks ask me for answer okay because i have picked up questions from different yeah, areas very difficult for no me problem, to back to that no and problem. Answer. if possible i will definitely do it the next Happy question ma'am uh, what is yes. the answer for this question investment decision sir first one ma'am it is uh, it is uh, not investment decision ma'am it is sir it is a capital budget investment Capital budgeting is investment decision, sir. The other name no, for capital. No, uh, when it comes to investment decision, uh, when it uh, factors are uh, not given, no, no sir. So actually, maybe... that's what that's what I was telling them. That it's a googly. First step is okay. asking you to about financial decision. So we will talk about investment decision. But so, the second question is not connected to the first question. The second question right. is asking you to identify the working capital requirement. the three okay. factors the three factors is availability of raw material liberal credit policy and time required to manage the so length of operating cycle these things okay okay yes sir ma'am actually what ah. i should write in uh, what people should write for this ah one? so first is and foremost decision or capital budgeting decision investment decision is the correct answer sir why because capital Fine. budgeting decision talks only about fixed capital requirements investment okay. decision is divided into two Fine. That is capital budgeting decision and working capital decision, working capital management. But the last line, see, ma'am, Arun decides to venture into the line of business by setting up a manufacturing huh? unit in Mysore. Yes. So, so that means that that gives you an idea about investment uh, decision. True, true. Yes, capital sir. Capital budgeting. Yes, yes sir. Okay. Fine. The next yes, one. Okay. Computer Tech Limited is one of the leading information technology outsourcing services providers in India. the company provides business consultancy and outsourcing services to its clients over the past 5 years the company has been paying dividends at high rate to its shareholders however this year although earnings of the company are high its liquidity position is not so good moreover the company plans to undertake new ventures in order to expand its business in context of the above case give any three reasons because of which you think computer tech limited has been paying dividends at a high rate to its shareholders over the past 5 years comment upon the likely dividend policy of the company this year by stating any two reasons in support of your answer yes as the earning is high ma'am so initial so uh, initially it was Initially, it was able to pay high dividend pay, because yes, they had so that they were good, able to pay uh, yes capital yes but in, and this year what happens is cash flow position is not good liquidity yeah, because liquidity is uh, is go is the not so factors, good the two factors this year is liquidity position is not good good but, and the company has process of objective the company has. Idea of going in for expansion, new win, new venture. Yes, so it, is, it is trying to go for new venture. New so venture, these are the two yeah. factors. Yes, ma'am. By so stating any two reasons, reasons in support yes, of your answer, fine. Mm -hmm. So yes, the company's liquidity position is not good, and, and expansion of the that is growth yes. opportunities. Growth As prospects. per the textbook, it is growth prospects, prospects. cash flow position, and growth prospects. Growth prospects. Yes, yes. but correct. answer yes, for first question, sir. Any three reasons? Were three reasons because of which you think Computer Tech Limited has been paying dividends at high rate to its shareholders. So we can say that initially it reaches a number one is is the uh, outsourcing providers. So there it's only a service industry. The three factors maybe the come uh, maybe the we can we can draw inferences from this because. Ah, the company over the past five years, the company has been paying high dividends. Five years is one key word here, so we can say stability of earnings, stability of earnings, and cash flow position. These three can be drawn with one single sentence. Yes, sir. Ah. With with one yes. single sentence that over the past five years, 
the continuity is there no five years so stable yes so that means it indicates that company's cash flow position had been good company had been earning stable income and their earnings are very very good so for a one single word they can uh, draw so many inferences the next is like the two reasons are cash flow position is not good and mature growth prospects fine okay. lavanya are you okay. able to cope up ma Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Just a minute. I'll just check how many are there in the meeting now. So we five only today. Fine. Okay. Fine. Coming to next one. Bhuvan inherited a large area of agricultural land in Haryana after the death of his grandfather. He plans to sell this piece of land and use the money to set up a small-scale paper factory to manufacture all kinds of stationery items from recycled paper. Being an amateur in business, he decides to consult his friend Subhash, who works in a factory consultancy, financial consultancy firm. Subhash helps him to prepare a blueprint of his future business operations on the basis of sales forecast in next five years. Based on these estimates, he helps Bhuvan to assess the fixed and working capital requirements of business. So, in the context of the above case, identify the type of financial service that Subhash has offered to Bhuvan. Briefly state any four points highlighting the importance of type of financial services identified in Part A. So, Bhuvan inherited a very large agricultural land. After okay, he plans to sell a piece of land using okay. Financial. Yes, ma. Financial blueprint—that is a key word. So, what is that? So, planning. Be louder. Tappe kare the. Let us make mistake. We will learn lavanya. Financial planning. This financial planning. planning. Very good. Fine. And explain the importance of financial planning. Fine. So, you will say about it reduces shocks and surprises. It links the investment and financing decisions. Fine. It enables forecast. It reduces the uh, overlapping and uh, this one can be this one. What is there? Overlapping of uh, activities. It brings an effective coordination between various activities of the business. Fine. So financial planning is a correct answer. Okay. Can I go to the next question? Yes, ma'am. Fine. Visions Limited is a renowned multiplex operator in India. Presently, it owns 234 screens in 45 properties at 20 locations in the country. Considering the fact that there is a growing trend among the people to spend more of their disposable income in income on entertainment, two years back, the company had decided to add more screens to its existing setup and increase facilities to enhance leisure, leisure, food chains, etc. It had then floated an initial public offer of equity shares in order to raise the desired capital. The issue was fully subscribed and paid. Over the years, the sales and profits of the company have increased tremendously and it has been declaring a higher dividend and the market price of its shares has increased many folds. In the context of the above case, name the different kinds of financial decisions. So, you are given very clearly indicating that different kinds of financial decisions. financial decisions. That means all the three decisions are there. Fine. Financing dividend. Number one is investment, investment decision. decision. Okay. Number so two, he had decided to add more screens. Fine. More screens to set up and increase the facilities to enhance leisure chain, etc. Number one. Number two, it had then floated initial public offer of equity shares is financing decision. Then the sales and profits of the company have increased tremendously and it has been declaring higher dividend and market price of the shares has increased many fold. So all these things indicate your all the three decisions. Yes. Then do you think the financial management team of the company has been able to achieve its prime objective? Why or why not? <laughs> Give a reason in support of your answer. Yes, ma'am. So, all the three Here decisions in the question, are done. we have to write yes, ma'am. Very good. 
here we can write this and then we can we should write explanation no ma'am yes explanation why, are, why because uh, why because uh, the company uh, decided to add to more screens see. what is the primary objective of a company it is wealth maximization fine now you are given very clearly that the company uh, is growing trend and the company is going in for additional see you are given that the people uh, spend more of disposable income etc the company is adding up more uh, mm -hmm. this one okay so by which what happened capital appreciation will be there for the investors number one number two over the years the company has in the, the profits of the company have increased tremendously and it has been declaring higher dividend dividend and the market price of its share has increased many folds these things indicate that company will okay. be able to satisfy wealth maximization concept of the organization so the primary objective of any management is wealth maximization okay. to the equity shareholders which is achieved fine yes. the next manoj is a renowned businessman involved in export business of leather goods as a responsible citizen he chooses to use jute bag for packaging instead of plastic bags moreover on the advice of his friends he decides to use jute for manufacturing aesthetic handicrafts keeping in view the growing demand for natural goods in order to implement his plan after conducting a feasibility study he decides to set up a separate manufacturing unit for producing varied jute products in the context of the above case identify the type of investment decision taken by manoj by deciding to set up a separate manufacturing unit for producing jute products then state any two factors that he is likely to consider while taking this decision sir your topic yes from capital budget cash flow position capital budgeting decision capital budgeting and, and what you say is correct some said the two factors it's a capital oh, budgeting yes, decision and the two factors is cash flow and position and rate of, rate of return rate of return okay after conducting a feasibility yes, study etc fine sir mm. yes the yes, next after completing his education in travel and tourism arjun started travel angels private limited along with his twin brother beam their company seeks to provide travel solutions to its clients like ticket booking for airways railways and roadways hotel booking insurance etc although the business is doing well both of them have realized that they are not good in managing finance and feel confused and frustrated sometime due to financial crisis that may suddenly arise in order to avoid such situations in the future they hire nakul and sade as financial managers who have done a degree certification course in financial management so you are asked to give the meaning of financial management fine please activities, remember financial enama in organization i don't get you i don't get you financing activity see one thing is activities one thing like with uh, this one is this uh, type of meaning or anything this was actually it was asked as define financial management few years before i think it is 2011 or 12 the question was define financial management which led to lot of controversies in the manage this one in the marking score scheme because you there is no prescribed definition anything the student yes, conveys please you can tell your students also as far as business studies and accountancy are concerned as a subject uh, head that i had been representing so many years we know pretty well that no need for the students to panic that they don't know a prescribed definition or anything anything that conveys a meaning of uh, financial management will be accepted so financial management is that part of management which is concerned with planning organizing financial and activity. controlling of financial activities of a business full organization anything that is related to financing propositions of the company full mark anything that is related to financial activities and control of financial activities is called as financial management yes the child deserves full credit so don't penalize the student nor please don't try to give them any particular definition we can't expect the child of 17 17 and a half years to see now this many questions we have gone through fine almost about 15 questions nearly we have gone through each and every question makes us to think and then write 
See, this is my 25th batch I am sending in DAV itself. Okay. And almost Samshad or Savitri ma'am or uh, Hari sir, thank you sir. Hari sir would have definitely sent so many batches. In spite of it, we take at least one to two minutes. Are we spontaneous in giving answers? We are taking time. Sure, yes, we are yes, taking yes, so time. Yes, so let us be compassionate with the students. Yes, let us not think. And I always used to tell that my students used to say, ma'am, you are just reading. You don't, we have the answer paper with us, ma'am. You are reading the question and giving the answer, ma'am. How is that possible, ma'am? Ma'am, you have the answer, ma'am. No, I don't have the answer. I have the only, I have only the question you see. Then how is it possible, ma'am? Tuck to tuck, you are giving answer. Ma, for you, this is the first year, ma. For me, it is the 25th year. I am repeating the same parrot like we are repeating the same topic. In spite of all these things, every year we are learning. But and the one, one more... thing I want to share, ma'am. Yes. More than CBSC paper, DAV paper, challenging, ma'am. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Really. I feel, no, no, no. Yes, After, yes ma'am, really. Well, honestly, to share. Uh, after that is accounts uh, children will not run maximum we will discuss next day only but yeah. business studies they will come whatever i say ma'am is a, is it right is, when i am sharing the answer because answer will they will not share to me yeah. uh, just usually i will not get first i will yeah. find the answer then i will compare yeah. in certain field i feel very happy but Super. challenging paper is dav ma'am really Super. <laughs> most of my students whenever they come out of exam one uh, 2016 board business studies paper was discussed in parliament like physics paper it was so tough one full length page question final answer is it is a service industry therefore working capital requirement will be less that's all his answer but one full page so the reading time of 15 minutes is not sufficient for the students two years before ma'am 2016 2016 so that time malika ma'am was the principal Ma'am asked me uh, in Facebook, there is a five star rating for uh, that uh, business study paper. How did our children do? I said, when they came out, they said, we saw yet another Sri Pramam's paper. <laughs> every year, accountancy paper, this will be the statement. Every year, every other school will be crying, saying that the paper is a very standard paper, etc., etc., etc. Our students will say, we saw yet another Sri Pramam's paper. Sometimes they will have a doubt with business studies question. Paper. For example, in one particular year, there was a question on um, a difference between unity of command and unity of direction as a five mark question. So they had a doubt whether it is because Ibrahim had never tested this type of question for five marks. It will be usually a two mark question. What is this display of this one? Then I had to tell them expect the unexpected as far as the board is concerned. You also please tell your students. Board paper is set such a way that a child of average ability will be able to secure an easy 60%. They need not panic, number one. And a child of average ability will be able to solve the paper in say 1 hour and 50 minutes, a two-hour paper, maximum of 1 hour and 40 minutes or 1 hour and 50 minutes, they will solve the paper so that you can be ready. Number three, let them not justify saying that it is a one mark question, it was very lengthy, it's a six, it's a five mark question, it is so small, we got confused. Make it very clear to them. Ultimately, it is a, it is a 40 marks paper, that's all. What is needed is ultimately it is a 40 marks paper and it may, a, a one mark question may take uh, 10 minutes to write and a four mark question may be, uh, may be completed in just two minutes also. That is not our problem. That is CBSE's headache. How is he going to allot the marks is their headache. You let us not worry about that. Let them not think for one more question, we had to write so much. And four more question was so small, so we got confused whether we are going in the uh, right uh, direction or not. So that, that way they need not worry at all. Fine. It is ultimately CBSE's responsibility to allocate marks. So please insist these factors to the students. Over a period of time, you will you will also learn all these things. Fine. Now coming to next question. So here, uh, so the the uh, the thing is, give the meaning of financial management. So you can say that it is concerned with optimum procurement of resources and the best usage. Fine. That way, then outline the role of in this one, giving suitable points. So it says about uh, the role. So they have to know. Then, so they feel they get confused this one. So they have to now identify the sources from where the funds can be procured, 
with the minimum effort. So if you can see this objective of financial management, if you take that NCRT volume two, in the introduction paragraph itself, five, four to five points are there. Availability of sufficient funds, optimum procurement of reserves, sorry, resources, safety of investments, fine, maximization of profit, minimization of cost are all there in the first paragraph itself. Along with that, the next page, the third page, you are given wealth maximization as a separate point. So you can give that, you can tell them that the objectives of financial management is the answer for this question. Okay. Fine. The next well-being limited. I have just I I have covered the answer also with this because yesterday uh, we wanted to discuss that. So well-being limited is a, a company engaged in production of organic foods. Presently, it sells its products through indirect channels of distribution. But considering the sudden surge in the demand for organic products, the company is now inclined to start its online portal for direct marketing. The financial managers of the company are planning to use debt in order to take advantage of trading on equity. In order to finance its expansion plans, it is planning to raise a debt capital of rupees 40 lakh through a loan at 10% from an industrial bank. The present capital base of the company comprises of rupees 9 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each. The rate of tax is 30%. So everything is given to you. Rate is given, rate of interest is given, everything is given. What are the two conditions necessary for taking advantage of trading on equity? So the rate of return should be greater than the rate of return payable on borrowed capital, one condition. Number two is that should be a tax deductible source. You are given here tax rate is 30%. So assuming the expected rate of return on investment to be the same as it was for the current year, that is 15%. So you can say that it is 15% rate of return on investment, whereas expected loan to be paid is 10%. Okay, this is one point to be taken into consideration. The next point is the tax rate. The tax rate to be taken into consideration. So now what is the answer? So the two conditions you are given that the rate of investment Rate of return on investment should be more than the rate of interest. Number two, the inter amount of interest payable is a tax deductible source. So, uh, equity says, Pao, that girl, Pratiba is not here. She's traveling today. She, she was so surprised. Believe me, teachers, yesterday after the class got over, she called me and she said, Ma'am, I am learning business studies through you. I never expected there will be numericals in business studies. I said, that is serious. Bye, bye. That is CBSC. Expect everything from CBSC. Seriously, we are all blessed to be teachers of CBSC. Fine. So, equity shares 90 lakh in both the cases. In the second case, I'm sorry, in the first case, there is no borrowed capital at all. Whereas in case two, the company is borrowing 40 lakh rupees. So, total capital is 90 lakh in case one and 1 lakh, 1 crore 30 lakh in the second case. Earning before interest and tax, you are given here. 10%, sorry, uh, what is that? Um, I'm sorry, 15%. 15% is the current year's rate of return. So, 15% of 90 lakh is going to be 13 lakh uh, 50,000. And 15% of 1 crore 30 lakhs will come to 19 lakh 50,000. Uh, ma'am, one yes, minute, ma'am. Yes, ma sir. Can I see the question, ma'am, if you don't mind, ma'am? Yes, sir. Um, here, the capital is given as 9 lakh or 9 lakh, ma'am? Could you please check me? One minute, sir. The present capital base present. of the company comprises of 9 lakh equity. Last minute, no? 9 lakh rupees. Last, should have been 9, 9 lakh, lakh equity shares, sir. It is, this, this rupee of? symbol is wrong. Rupee mm -hmm. symbol is wrong. That's what It should have been 9 lakh debentures of rupees 10 each. So 9 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each, which gives you 90 lakh rupees. That rupee symbol is wrong. In another book, ma'am, I actually uh. the same question is given. Yeah? Yes, sir. But uh, you know, ma'am, how the students were uh, performing and the key is also given us. Yes. Uh, for, uh, for first situation, it's nine lakh, ma'am. Okay. For second situation, it is for forty nine <coughs> lakh. Ma'am. It is. With that only, we have ah, taken. Ah, forty nine lakhs. Okay. Okay, nine lakh and forty nine. See, lakh. numericals uh, we can do any type of mirch masala. That's any cool. type of mirch masala we can make because. Ultimately, we should have the answer. That's all. 
so That's long as we that is the reason that is the thing which i request most of the teachers of the city never bank on marking scheme ask for question paper you solve the paper by yourself that will be better isn't it sir we cannot simply bank on uh, this one outside uh, things fine so as you say when you work out it will be very very good that's fine yes sir so 15% is the expected return so first year earning sorry case 1 earning before interest and taxes 13 lakh 50 thousand there is the same in situation 2 it is 19 lakh 50 thousand so now the second this one is interest component is there that is 4 lakh rupees so now earning before tax is going to be the same 13 lakh 50 thousand here whereas it is 15 lakh 50 thousand tax rate is 30% of 13 lakh 50 thousand 30% of 15 lakh 50 uh, 50000 so now you get earnings after tax is 9 lakh 45000 10 lakh 85000 so obviously the return on investment is more when the company goes for um, applying employing more of fixed cost sources fine so financial math so it is only a projection please remember we are not, uh, this is not the final case. The company is making a projection. What will be the situation if the company is able to promote, if the company is able to raise debentures by this, will the shareholders be benefited? Yes, they are able, they will be benefited because capital equity remains to be the same. Debt increases with a given condition that the profit of the firm is increasing. They are able to provide higher return on investment to the equity shareholders. Now, we can say if the company's expected return is, say, 8%, definitely the company should not go for employing more of debt. Fine? So, that is fine. Yes? <coughs> can I go further? I think this, uh, I think, uh, this one I completed. See, this book is one more advantage. This I took it from uh, Oswald. Okay, Oswald Publication. He, he doesn't stop with me. Two things you have to observe in these questions. Okay. Number one, he's three things. Number one, he's giving you the option. What is the correct answer? Please yes, remember, you keep the question to yourself. Don't you keep the book to yourself. Don't share the book to the students. You pick up the question, keep the answers to yourself. Only then they will think. Fine. So, number one, he is giving you the option. Okay. Option C is correct. Number one. Number two, C, he is doing it. Knowledge, understanding, analysis, and application. The four Bloom's taxonomy. Okay, the Bloom's taxonomy of the, uh, the scale of uh, knowledge. Okay, scale of understanding. So, knowledge, understanding, application, and analysis. He gives you, it is only understanding. So, what is the level? And he is giving you the explanation also. So, you can tell your students, why is it considered to be the option C? Fine. So, you keep the answer to yourself and explain only, give only the question. Fine. So, can you scroll up? Can you scroll? Twenty-three, you can scroll, ma'am. Come again, ma'am. Twenty-third. Twenty-three. Okay. See, now he is given here. Fine. Yay. Fine. So analysis application that way. Could you could you solve this match terms in column one with terms in with their correct meaning in column two? When you are setting a paper, add one more option. Fine. You should have four matches for three questions. Questions. That the fourth one should be very closer to one of these. So that the student will be will find it difficult to check. Never mind in the initial stages when you have a number of failures to be more or the students are finding it difficult, etc. So long as you are strong in the subject, 
you don't need to worry at all let them struggle one year they will struggle so please implement all these things when they are in 11th standard itself let them understand who you are then automatically they will struggle okay fine yes tell me samshad with which one uh, what do you want me to help you one mark i have clarity ma'am yes ma'am ha ah. and three mark and five mark that page number the paragraph like come that. again come again Yeah, ma'am. If the question is like that, identify means they will identify option A. Ah. B. Explain the state hmm. the factors or something like. That. If okay. the question is common, question means how they have to. Ah, listen. Generally, generally, uh, we give the instruction to the students. State, list, mention, okay, enumerate are all the questions which are supposed to be for one mark or two marks. And when they when the question is for say for two marks, enumerate. they have to list out four points half a mark each unless and until the question says very specifically enumerate two points for two marks it is enough if they list out two points mm -hmm. otherwise half a mark each same condition for reliefs available to the consumer also reliefs available to the consumer if the question says state the reliefs available to the consumer you will may you will tell the students to write 10 reliefs half a mark each fine the question says very specifically any five reliefs only then will they tell you will they write only five reliefs otherwise any one liner will fetch only half a mark so that way please be very clear fine similarly beyond three marks even if the question says enumerate please tell them to write here at least one line of explanation yes. fine similarly process questions like staffing process controlling process or uh, planning process any process the selection process any process irrespective of the mark allotted they have to write every step in chronological order with one line explanation let them not think that it's a three mark question why must i explain all the five points etc i told you already you make it very clear to the students that a five mark question may be very small a three mark question may be very big also fine you don't need they don't need to worry it is a headache of the cbsc to allot marks able to understand so let them not uh, break their head about that let them give at least it, uh, by at least one line explanation let them not go again yes, say yes, suppose the selection process is asked as a five mark question there are about 11 steps in selection process let him let them give one line explanation let them not explain different types of tests and other things not needed the written test okay so selection test selection interview what do you mean by that one mark will do let them not waste their time and energy in explaining everything but one line explanation is very much needed Fine. Yes. Uh, tell me, uh, Samshad. Next one. So five mark. Ah, five mark question. Five mark question. They don't need to go for a history geography of the whole thing. Say, for example, factors determining financing decisions. My sincere suggestion is let them first list out all the factors determining financing decision. Then give one line explanation. Yes. why because half a mark for subheading half a mark for explanation so they list out the sub subheading they are confident of two and a half marks and the paper evaluator doesn't have so much of space of uh, time to read each and everybody's explanation etc so if the student has listed out all the subheadings that itself indicates that they they have understood the concept so paper said the evaluator will not restrict the marks so they will for sure get full marks and request your students to attempt the paper fully find 0 to 100% they have to attempt all the 12 questions have to be attempted even if they don't know the answer say for example distinguish between unity of command and unity of direction child knows thoroughly about unity of command child knows thoroughly about unity of direction but don't know how to make a comparison between the two 
write fully about the unity of command, write fully about unity of direction. Enough. Let the evaluator interpret the answer. Let the evaluator try to infer the answer. Let us not break our head. Fine. So let them write fully and let them not panic. They think that it's a wrong answer. Let them not panic. For sure, the evaluators are very, very considerate. Fine. Nobody will definitely penalize the students. Any year we don't penalize, especially this year, for sure, nobody will penalize. And sometimes the head examiners do consider 50% mark for deviated answer. Say, for example, the question is about principles of scientific management. The child is expected to write it as science, not rule of thumb, harmony, not harmony discord, discord. etc. But by mistake, the child explains fully about functional formanship, differential piece rate system, scientific work study, etc. Fine. When the child comes out, the child will be panicked saying that, yo, I made a mistake, what will I do? Tell them very gently, don't worry. They will take care in the evaluation. 95% it is that they consider deviated answer and they give 50% of the mark. So, 5 mark question will get at least 2.5 marks. They will not mark 0 unless and until that person does not know the subject. Otherwise, you don't need to worry at all. Fine. So, let them give precise explanation. More than enough. Train them for trading on equity table. Yes, trading procedure in stock exchange. Fine. The advantages of online transaction. Steps involved in opening and uh, opening a DMAT account. Fine. All these things, please train them. Let them write and practice. Problem with our students is... They are not, first thing, this pandemic batch, they don't know writing habit at all. Number two, they, do, they are not interested in reading this paragraph answers. If you see this trading procedure in stock exchange, the whole thing is conveyed in the full paragraph. Like um, the broker goes to the thing, then contract note is prepared, then unique ID is created, T plus one day, that is pay in day, pay out day, the whole transaction should take place in T plus two days. Okay, everything is there in the paragraph only. Okay, they don't read the paragraph fully. Make them write it and put it in bullet point. That is better. Let them split. What I normally do is, say, for example, staff, staffing as part of uh, human resource management. I put it in bullet points. Point number one, staffing is the essential function. Number two, staffing is considered to be generic function of management because it is after organizing, staffing is very much essential. Number three, Earlier, staffing was a responsibility of the departmental manager concern. Now, with the size of the organization increasing, it is a responsibility of all managers, the staffing responsibility. That way, put it in bullet points, 10 points, 12 points. It will be easy for the student to buy heart, reproduce and get marks. Fine? Yes? Yes, tell me, ma'am, anything else? Uh, which question should uh, yes, sir. should they write <coughs> ma'am first ma'am whether it is section C B or A or uh, can we jumble sections or well, question number should be clear sir that's all even that day even Siraj sir okay. was telling uh, board says uh, part A should be attempted first part B should be attempted first it is not so it is not so let them write the question number correctly. That's all. What is needed? Why? Okay. Because in that uh, sheet, isn't it? I suppose all of you are training the students with the this one. I wanted to show the paper also. I think all your schools will be having the front fly sheet where the question yes, numbers yes, are there. Printed ones. Fine. Yes. So, board examination will have 30 questions. Okay. Question uh, wise. So, you enter the marks only in the particular box. So, once the question is evaluated and you pose the mark to the question number 6 or 7 or 8, there is no problem at all. Let the child write in any order. See, we do try to discipline the students by saying that they have to write it in an order only. But imagine the level of stress that the children will be undergoing in the examination hall. Imagine the environment with which they will be working. 
and especially these this batch with the pandemic experience definitely we need to take into consideration their mental stress so that being the case let us not uh, let us insist see from our level amma epovume adichi adichi dhan solli kudupanga velil endu paakrachi amma romba cruel mother maari irukum but the fact is amma is always right fine எங்க அம்மா எப்பவுமே சொல்லுவா அம்மா அழகழ சொல்லி கொடுப்பா பக்கத்து வீட்டுல சிச்சின் சிச்சின் சொல்லி கொடுப்பாங்கன்னு அம்மா அழகழ சொல்லி கொடுக்கு வித் ஆல் த பெயிண்ட் ஆஃப் யார் டீச்சிங் ஸோ லெட் அஸ் பி ரூ வெரி ஸ்ட்ராங் வித் தன் சேயிங் தட் தே ஹாவ் டு ரைட் வித் இந்த சேம் சீக்வென்ஸ் ஒன்லி ஒன் டு டுவெல் ஃபுல்லா அப்படிதான் அட்டம் பண்ணணும் பட் ஆன் த டே ஈவன் த பிரில்லியன்ட் ஒன்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ரோன்ட் டென்ஷன் இசன் இட் ஸோ தட் பீங் த கேஸ் please tell them that at any point in time they have to write the question number clearly number 1 number 2 let them score the answers if they are wrong only with pencil let them not use pen for scoring the answers number 3 once they start reading the paper let them be very clear which are the answers they are very thorough with initial impression of the teacher matters a lot the very first page if there is a scoring scribbling etc even if the student is a highly high scoring student the mindset of the teacher will be such that they will think that the teach the child doesn't know anything fine they will go with the same mindset instead tell them very clearly whichever the question you know comfortably write it that's all please enter the question number correctly so we keep evaluating at the end we are come so i always tell my teachers who are coming to me for evaluation never post the marks then and there evaluate the paper fully then go to the front page for posting by which what happens you know which are the question the child has attempted which are the question that so when when a particular box is there then you will go back to the answers to see if the answer if the child has attempted the question or not when i going to make simultaneous posting fine that's all once you see that all the last page has come that's all you tend to total everything you may not go back to the answer whether the child has attempted the question and not marked the answer etc sometimes we may overlook one page okay so that way okay next thing is please instruct your students to score of the unwritten pages without fail find score of the unwritten pages without fail why because only then they might have overlapped one few pages see one or two pages would have got mixed up in between and they might write the answers later so when they start scoring then they will realize that there is a answer in between so maybe they will give a hint that answer written in that particular page or they may try to staple these pages so that the examiner goes to the next answer fine so ensure that your students score of the pages meticulously the unwritten pages fine and accountancy they can put the title as part a or part b that's all business study is no problem at all only 12 questions so straight away they can write the question number and write no no need to worry whether they should jumble or not jumble but let us not tell the students you write in any order you tell them from the beginning that they have to write it in a particular order only 12 to 1 or 1 to 12 but before they go into the board exam room make it very clear to them that right they have to write the question number clearly and never overwrite the question number there is another confusing factor see in a particular day i correct about 30 papers by the end of the day nijmave vomit pandralu kaidu we are saturated with the answers so that time the child is overwriting 12 11 8 or 9 we will get confused and we will be so tired to see even the marking scheme to know which question answer is this and accordingly give mark and for a five for a three mark question if i give five mark the coordinators will check that and come back to us it's a three mark question you have given five marks but for a five mark question you give three marks coordinator will not come to you they will think that okay fine this question probably the, ch- the child has uh, uh, scored only 3 marks so your your student is losing 2 marks though the child writes a full answer so let them not overwrite the question number let them score it and rewrite it separately fine 